What's a power supply unit? Since a really bad one can burn your house down, we should learn. What does the 80 plus certification moniker mean? What are the differences between the bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and titanium PSU certifications? The short answer is that the higher the certification, the higher the machine's efficiency, which translates to less noise, a lower electric bill, and less heat output, keeping you and your games running quiet and cool. The long answer? Well, that's what the rest of the video's for. Go and wait for me in the car. Think of the PSU like the negotiator between the wall's electrical socket and your gaming PC. The higher the certification, the tougher the negotiator is in getting the flow of AC power from the wall to transform into the steady, efficient flow of DC power your gaming PC's components need to suck on with minimum heat. Negotiator entering kill zone. The ratings are for three benchmarks, at 20% of maximum power load, at 50% of max load, and 100% of its max load. The 80 plus rating means you're getting a minimum of 80% of efficiency in converting AC wall power into DC power at those three milestones. For example, if you have a 500 watt 80 plus rated power supply, to show you how efficient it is at 20%, you take 20% of its maximum load, which is 20% of 500 watts, which let's do the calculation together, is 100 watts. To get the efficiency, you divide the load by its efficiency. So 100 divided by 0.8, giving you 125 watts of output for every 100 watts pulled out of the wall. To double check your work, you divide the output power by the input power, giving you 0.8, hence the 80% implied by the 80 plus efficiency rating. That means that for every 100 watts pulled out of the wall, an 80 plus certified PSU must lose no more than 25 watts of heat. At 50% of its total load, 250 watts, you get 312.5 watts, meaning you lose no more than 62.5 watts of heat. And at 100% of max load, 500 watts, you get 625 watts. So this 80 plus certified machine must lose no more than 125 watts in the form of heat. That sounds pretty good, but it gets a whole lot better. An 80% bronze certification guarantees 82% efficiency at 20% of max load, 85% efficiency at 50% of max load, and an 82% efficiency at 100% of max load. As you can see, it's a small bump up from the 80% the simple 80 plus rating promises. And this is the way it goes for silver, gold, platinum, and titanium. At the top of the totem pole, an 80 plus titanium certification gets you 90% efficiency at 20% of max load, 92% efficiency at 50% of max load, and 94% efficiency at 100% of max load. They still call it 80 plus titanium certification because I guess calling it a 90 plus dash 92 plus dash 94 plus doesn't sound as marketable, but it should actually be a 90 plus rating. A titanium certification is useful for very expensive wattage gulping behemoths you plan to keep in good running health for a long time. Something like a gaming rig built with an Intel i9-10900K with an RTX 2080 Ti could require an expert negotiator between your wall and F1 2020 running at full spec. And so an 80 plus platinum certified PSU could be the one to make sure you play much longer, harder, quieter, and cheaper as your living room avoids having a five alarm blaze, making sure you kill the heat like you're the 2020 LA Lakers, and that the only noisy things in the living room is the sound of the Formula One engines and you. What's been your experience with power supplies? Thinking of buying one? Or are you cheaping out and taking the chance of frying your components? Let us know in the comments down below. And like and subscribe for more from The Gamer. Das Vidanya.